Six reasons why people procrastinate, get stuck, don't take action. Reason number one, they want to avoid discomfort. Sometimes we're going to have to do things in life and it might take us a bit of our, out of our comfort zone. We're going to look at that a little bit later on. But one thing I want you to be thinking about for yourself is this. Is that to do with attitude? I just know oh, I don't know, it might make me feel uncomfortable so I won't bother doing it. Or is actually sometimes the discomfort caused by the fact that the person feels discomfort because actually I don't really know what I'm doing here. That's why I want to avoid doing this. That's why I want to avoid those sales calls. That's why I want to avoid doing those presentations. Because actually deep down, reality is you've never really equipped me to do a good job doing that. Or is it just simply an attitude point of view? Um, this is a clever way that people avoid taking action. I call it action illusion. So they always seem incredibly busy. But busy doing what? Because I think some people have stopped making the main thing the main thing. And they're really busy at filling their days with stuff, filling their work days with things. But it's like, what have you actually achieved? Phrase you may have come across it before, don't confuse activity with effectiveness. Some people feel guilty when they've got a little bit of time to reflect, reflect and think. Why? Because maybe they're going to be more effective when you take that time out and the other people are rewarded because they seem to work hard, head down, doing loads. Yeah? But are you really caught up in action illusion? Third reason why people put off things, don't take the action, very simply this. Fear of failure. See, if I don't do it, I can't fail, can I? Fear of failure, also sometimes fear of rejection. And that's the reason why people stay in their comfort zone, maybe don't fulfil their potential. I always find it very interesting that Richard Branson, though, says, I've never failed in my life. And I'm thinking, that's an interesting concept, Richard, because I can think of quite a few things you failed at. But then he says this, I only see it as failure if I fail to learn from it. If I learned from it, it wasn't a failure. But you know, for some people, failure isn't an event, it's their identity. They start to label themselves as a failure. That makes them massively uncomfortable. Therefore, I won't take the action in case it doesn't work out. Fourth reason, very subtle this one, what I've had to deal with myself in my own life, emotional barriers. And what I mean by that is people are waiting for the feeling before they take the action. I'm waiting to feel motivated. I'm waiting to feel confident. I'm waiting to feel creative. Here's a little phrase for you. Right feelings follow right actions. Sometimes the motivation comes after you've started, not before. But some people's conditioning is I've got to wait for the feeling before I take the action. Sometimes you just make a decision. I'm going to the gym today, not motivated to do so. Don't feel fantastic about doing it. But the night before, put my trainers out, put my gear out. I'm going to do it. It's just a discipline. Some people get far further in life through their daily disciplines and their habits than they do because of how they feel motivated or not. Final two. I think the fifth one, I hope the antidote to the fifth one has already started to take place with some of you when you look to the seven days of the week exercise. Because I think another reason why people don't take action, they put things off, is complacency. Yeah, well, you know, next week, next month, next year, I'm thinking to myself, Ruddy hell, Paul, you're about to start the weekend of your life here soon, mate. Let's flip and make the most of this journey. Let's grab it for all it's worth. Let's maybe take a few risks, but let's not just drift through life thinking, well, one day I'll get round to doing that. Final reason, I think this is probably going to be for many of you, the biggest single reason why you and some of your team don't always take action is fuzzy focus. I've got so much going on in my world that actually I'm not quite sure where I should be starting or I start this, then I'm doing that, then I'm fighting that fire and I never really get to do the stuff I need to do because I lack the clarity to know, okay, what the actions I need to take.